Hi, in this video we're going to show you how to create file level backups using a tool called Disk Master Free. So this will do lots of other things such as create system image backups, which are different than file level backups, so we did a video on that. And it will also do things such as clone your drive, and it'll actually clone your Windows drive, so you can put it on a different disk and make it bootable. So we did a video for that as well. And there's some disk management tools here. So if you want to create partitions, format them, delete them, and so on. You could even create virtual disks from here. So we're going to the Backup and Recovery section, and then we're going to go to File Backup. You can see here's the system backup that we did before. You could do a disk or partition backup, and then you could browse for recovery files from there. And you could also sort them if you have multiple backups. All right, so we're going to click on File Backup. Okay, so now you choose your files, and then you choose the destination. So, by default, when you install the program, it wants to make a My Storage file on your computer, and it puts it on the C drive. So if you want to put it somewhere else, you could click on this folder icon here. And in our case, we're going to go to the E drive here. And we have a backup folder here, where we have our system image backup. So we're going to create a new folder here. We'll just call this file backups and that's where we'll save it. You could also add a NAS device if needed. Okay, then you could change the name. By default it'll put file backup with the date. Then you have some options here. If you want to add some comments to the backup, if you want to change the compression level, so obviously changing the compression level to something higher will make it take longer. Uh, you could set encryption if you want to put a password on your backup. You could change how the backups are created size-wise from automatic to manual. So let's say you want to split them up into smaller chunks, you could do that. And then you could change the priority and the speed. And then you could use VSS. This is necessary for the system image backups. So make sure that you keep that checked if you use that. All right, then down here we have some scheduling. So if you want to schedule your backups at certain times or at a certain interval, and here are the advanced options, so you could choose what type. So you should do, you know, do a full backup first, and you could do incremental or differential backups after that, if necessary. If you click on the calculator, it tells you the required space for the backup, but since we haven't selected anything, it's going to say zero. All right, so let's say we want to backup documents. And let's say pictures. We're not going to do something really huge here just for the sake of time. But obviously you could do the whole C drive if you want, but that might give you, you know, more stuff than you need. If you're going to back up the whole C drive, you might as well do a system image. So this would be more used for your personal files, not for programs and that type of thing. All right, let's do the calculator again. All right, so we need 213 megabytes to do this backup. So we're going to go ahead and start the backup here. All right, so that was quick since it wasn't that long. So we'll click on Finish. And now you can see we have our file backup here listed with our system backup. And if we go to the backup folder, here are our file backup. So you can see it keeps it as a backup file. It doesn't back them up individually. Okay, so when you're here, you have some options here. So if you want to edit the backup, delete the backup, locate an image, check the image, delete the image, and then you could actually run, you know, another full backup, incremental or differential right from here. And then you could also do that automatically if you're scheduling your backups. All right, so let's say you want to restore. You come here, click on recovery. So since we only have one backup, this is our only backup point right there. So if we click on it, it shows us what we selected for the backup. And then you could choose if you want to back up everything or just individual files or folders. And then you could decide if you want to recover them to the original location or if you want to specify a different location. So let's say you wanted to restore some older files but you didn't want to overwrite your current files, you would select another location here. So let's say maybe desktop, just for an example here. And then you have the option to replace existing files. 
and then recover NTFS permissions. Okay, so I'm going to do the whole pictures folder here. So click on proceed and it should be showing up on our desktop. Okay, so that's done. So it actually gives you the whole folder path. So the C drive, users, username, and then pictures. And then here are all the pictures that match what we have in the real pictures folder. So pretty simple. All right, and then up at the top here, we have some settings. You could change the default storage path if you want to do that. And you could actually assign a password for the app so that way nobody can mess with your backups. And up here you have some logs, check for updates, and then the same settings again. All right, so that's pretty much all there is to it. Not too complicated. So if you're not doing backups, you definitely should be. And this is a nice way to do it because of the incremental and differential options, uh, which many programs do not give you the option to do. All right, so I will put a link in the description where you can download Disk Master Free and you can try it out for yourself. All right, thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe. Thank you.